Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Super Chick Lacquer with Trap Queen, and I'm going to stamp using Manisha M's Mandala Plate. I've started off with Neltique's Formula 2, and here is Super Chick Trap Queen. And I topped it off with the Super Chick Lacquer Marvel Liquid Macro Top Coat. And here is Manisha M's number 19 plate. And these are the full designs. I'll be using my fake Big Bling and my Fabio Nail Scraper. I've got the Nicole Diary Gold and it's NS03. And I'm going to stamp with that. As you can see, my other hand's a little wreck. <laughs> I haven't done any cleanup. <laughs> and I'm just going to use this design. This one talked to me. It reminded me of the spirograph images that you could make with, with that gadget when we were kids. And I just love that. It kept me busy for many hours. And there we go. And we're just going to put the same design on all the nails. I'm not going crazy today. Um, um, it's not as fancy as my last one with the mandala plate, but it's still very pretty. And I was just really into this design, so I wanted to put it on all of them. And I'm cleaning that plate off in between with some pure acetone and my cotton claw with the cotton swab on it. And these images are just picking up like a dream between the polish and the excellent plate. It's just, it's easy stamping. Trying to get it out of frame again. And there we go. And I just really do love the mandala look. I've always really been into it, so I just think that this plate is phenomenal. Having a good time with it. And I've got some leftover paint, so I'm not going to put any more. I'm just going to use what was on the scraper and plop that one on my pinky nail. Tap it down. And now I'm going to do a little bit of clean up with the tape and it's not getting all of it. This gold is a little more stubborn, but I'm going to get as much of it as I can up with the tape. And now we're going to do some more cleanup with my handy dandy cleanup brush and some nail polish remover. I'm sorry about the blurriness, but between the lighting and the bling of the nail, the camera's really struggling. And I'm going to top this one off with some Posh Top Coat. Seal that in and make it stick around for a little while. And cap those ends. And there we go. I hope you like this one. Like I said, I know it's not as fancy as my last one, but sometimes we go a little different. Here's my swatch photo. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this one. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.